Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I am at Heavy Metal, and some of you guys might know I ordered a new gun and we're about to pick it up. Always exciting to pick up a new gun. And knowing what I know, I'm pretty sure it's in that black box. Oh yeah. That's a long black box. Anybody have any guesses on what's inside there? But all y'all know i order everything from paul there's never once been one time where i said hey order me a gun and he couldn't find it and get it here in like one or two days this thing literally i came in on them we ordered it on monday it showed up wednesday right. but even if you're out of state it doesn't matter he can ship you anything so if you guys are looking for guns used or new hey give paul a call and check them out but this is a taurus Oh, I'm dropping the papers. I'm excited about this. This is a Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. And I guarantee you a lot of people have never heard of this, but this is not your everyday Taurus Judge that you have seen before. Look at how big that is compared to my hand. This is like, I was just telling Paul, this is like that Hellboy movie with yeah. his big old nasty revolver. I mean, I got big hands, but look how big that gun is in my hand. But this thing shoots 454 Casul, 410, and 45 Long Colt. So this thing is going to be a whole lot of fun. This is absolutely a hand cannon. But let's put this up to next to some other guns to kind of show you what this, the size of this thing looks like. And I'm going to take this off the front sight. Pretty slick. It's got a fiber optic front sight yeah buddy i like that and just to kind of show you the size of this don't have a regular judge to show you but look at this oh wow that felt like a little light little thing this is a 44 magnum look at the grip of that and then up next to the desert eagle it's just about the same size there i'm not gonna sit on top because i won't scratch the finish but it's almost the exact same size as a Desert Eagle putting it there side by side. Yeah, that's a lot of revolver. But let me grab the bullets that this thing shoots and show you guys real quick. Here's the ammo that this thing shoots. 410, 45 Long Colt, and then the 454 Casul. That's what makes this gun different from all the other judges, that it can handle the 44 Casul round, which if you never heard of it, that thing is a monster and packs a lot more punch than that 45 long colt but we are gonna see how this thing shoots i'm crazy excited to get this thing out to the range and take some shots out of it if my camera will focus i don't want to focus Ooh, that's a good looking revolver all right now we're out at the range here with heavy metal got the monster raging bull magnum out here and first i'm gonna shoot a three inch slug 410 slug then i'm gonna shoot a what's this one nope not that one second i'm gonna shoot a 45 long coat and then third i'm gonna shoot this 454 casul and i've never shot a 45 long colt or a 410 so i really don't know what to expect but let me load all these up if you've never seen one of these before, these big old revolvers, there's a catch right there like you're probably used to. You also got to pull down right here. So both hands, pop that thing out. That cylinder rolls real good there. But let me grab these, this ammo and load it up quick. All right, first with the 410. Then we got the 45 Long Colt. And then last, we're going to shoot the 454 Casul. Close that cylinder up to where it shoots like we want it. And there's a steel silhouette right up here at the 50 foot mark. Let's see if I can hit that with all three. Look at those sights right there, that front fiber optic sight. I really like that. Fiber optic sights are awesome on everything, I think. But first, let me shoot the 410 three inch slug at that silhouette. See if I can hit it. Yeah. 
you can definitely feel that in your hand, but I can feel the concussion it, of it. It doesn't hurt, but that kicks. I mean, 410 slug kicks out of this. Now let's try the 45 long colt. And that 45 long coat, I think, is a little bit less kick than the 410. But now, 454 Casul, this one I'm expecting to push on my hand a little bit. Yeah. See what we can do here. Yep. You can definitely feel that that 454 Casul. It's got a little bit more boogie on it. And to tell you the truth. That 454 Casul did put a little bit of sting in my hand, but it didn't hurt like, ow. It's just like, eh, yeah, I felt that kind of a sting. So love, love, love this revolver. I can't wait to film a whole bunch of videos with it. You know, uh, us and the stuff we do, we're going to do a whole lot of crazy stuff with this. But put down in the comments down below stuff that you want to see us shoot with this and with what ammo. You want to shoot it? Uh, I'll try a but long call pal, do Let's get Paul over here to load something in this, whatever he wants to shoot, and see what he thinks about it. I've just never shot one of these monster revolvers. Those long colts, really, it kicks less than a 44 Magnum, I, I feel like, because that revolver's so big. I was watching your hand when you shot, and it seemed like the long colt uh, didn't hardly move you. And those sights are money too. That fiber optic just fits right down in there. Well, that grip has plenty to get your hands on with this thing. Mm-hmm. I like that. How's the trigger? I didn't pay much attention to it. Let's see. I probably won't hit anything, but. Oh, it did. Oh yeah. Oh, that ain't bad at all. I like it a lot. That right there is what makes it happen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I look forward to uh, flinging some more rounds down this in the future. 454 Casul. Yeah, buddy. Never shot one out of this. Bigger the better. Adam says it won't kill me. And I believe him. And you got to tell us what you think about that compared to the Desert Eagle. Well, everybody knows I love my Desert Eagle. Uh, I've only shot the 45 Long Colt out of this thing. But I'm going to shoot this 454 Casul one-handed and just see what I think about it. It's got a different kind of grip on it. It's got revolver grip. But it's, it's comfortable. Yeah. My hand fits good, and i got an average average to big hand. Let's see what we think about this, guys. Ooh, that had a good fireball on it. That... That is less than a Desert Eagle 50. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, I could shoot this all day long, as long as somebody else is paying for the ammo. <laughs> well, the bullets cool. are a little smaller than the 50. Yeah, the thing about it, that shoots great. My hand doesn't hurt. That wasn't even a good stick. So, yeah. I'll give it a thumbs up, guys. That's cool. I'm glad you ordered that thing. And come on, be in the outro. Oh. <laughs> but a big thanks to Heavy Metal for ordering this in for me. This isn't some kind of promotional gun or anything. This is my personal gun I had him order for me. This is going to be awesome, awesome. You know I'm never going to get rid of this thing. But no, that thing's cool. Again, I'll say it again. If you guys need anything, it doesn't matter where you live. You can run down, give, give Paul a call. He can order up anything you want, whether it's a Barrett 50 BMG, this, or a single shot 22. He can hook you up and get you some deals. And you never know what kind of used stuff he was going to bring in. Uh, yeah, that's Get some true. good deals on that, too. I think my favorite deal from Paul might be that nickel plated 59. Yeah, that was a great trade in, and uh, hell, he wasn't high price, so can't yeah. beat that. So, a big thanks to Heavy Metal. If you're not already subscribed to their channel, go check them out and subscribe. They've got a video every day just like we do. All kind of fun stuff going on. But, hey, I love this Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. Again, comment down below what you guys want to see us shoot with this. 
I can't tell you how excited I am that this thing showed up. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun with it. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. Hoo-hoo!